Well, I have to say it seems pretty grim up north at the moment, particularly in Scotland, because as you would have read online, we've reported that three quite well-known companies have failed. Uh, the Hub have gone into receivership, that was followed by Beef Printing, and to top it all, Curtis Fine Papers has closed the doors as well. But there are also signs that the market is actually pretty resilient. For example, the Scottish ad and design industry are busy putting together their tenders for the Scottish Government roster. We've actually had sight of the tender document and I have to say it makes for some really turgid reading. I'm pretty relieved I don't have to complete this myself, I have to tell you. It's also fair to say that it looks like the tender has put a lot more emphasis on service as opposed to the quality of work. We're actually down here at the Hilton Hotel and we're really putting emphasis on quality work because we're judging the Scottish advertising wars at the moment. And I'm really pleased to say I've got the chairman of this year's panel with me, Pete Gat Gatley from uh, Widener Kennedy, who's going to tell us how it's going. It's going re re really well. Uh, no fights, no arguments. Everybody's agreed on what's the best work and there is a lot of good work there. Uh, uh, some categories, um, ambient media, we're, we've, we've just voted on very strong category you can see that that's where uh, that's where a lot of, a lot of uh, efforts been put not surprisingly by region regionally regional a agencies that's where their budgets are going more towards ambient rather than the 48 sheet posters which is more national uh, so yeah some re really good work some very strong categories good jury everybody's agreed and really good. That's great. Well, we're going to head back into the judging room now, so thank you very much.